Hello and welcome to Guns and Gear. Thought I'd share a little something with you. Hopefully you'll, you'll get something out of it or maybe just a little reminder. You know, the last two videos that I posted uh, on my channel were of a, a rainy day in the woods and uh, a little short video about, hey, get you some good gear, outerwear and stuff so you can enjoy uh, the out of doors even when the weather is not ideal. Well, I made that uh, video, not this past weekend, but the weekend prior to that. And it was just a yucky day, you know. It was rain that turned to sleet that later turned to snow. And uh, the temperature at the time that I was out there was, I don't know, 36, 37 degrees somewhere, something along those lines. At any rate, just a yucky day, right? Well, uh, the next morning, uh, I was in the shower, getting ready to go to work, and I had been scratching on a bug bite. And uh, I went to scratch that bug bite when I was in the shower. I looked and, it's, and I said, man, I scratched it so much that it, I've got a scab there. And uh, when I scratched it, I saw little legs moving. <laughs> That's right, I had picked up a tick. So I removed the tick and kind of just went on about my business, right? Uh, a few days later, I happened to notice it was still itching, and uh, I had pulled my pants leg up to look at it, and it started to get that telltale circle and bullseye look to it. But because of uh, what's been going on, I really couldn't <clears throat> take advantage of going to the doctor at that point. I went to the doctor this past weekend, and uh, doctor was, you know, said that that had that. Tick bite had all the characteristics of a tick that had Lyme disease, and so he wanted to treat me for that. You know, he gave me a shot and gave me some some uh, medication. Uh, he wasn't real alarmed uh, because I had not waited too late, but said that I should have uh, come to him as soon as that bullseye started taking shape. And I, I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys because. We're starting to get longer days, right? We're starting to get a little break from uh, temperatures in, in most places. I know some places that still have some pretty cold weather. But uh, I'm looking forward uh, to getting a little break and, and do some camping. And one of the things that we have to deal with is bugs, right? Especially if you live in the South. You know, uh, here in Southeastern Virginia, didn't really have a cold winter. Uh, we've, we've certainly had colder temperatures. It was rather mild in the temperature area, but we did have a few cold days. Had just a little bit of snow and uh, wasn't all that bad. And it's not unusual that ticks are a problem, especially in the South year round. Now, I'm not sure about Northern uh, colder climates but it is something that you have to, uh, you have to uh, think about. If it's uh, real cold temperatures and you don't think you need bug spray, the, the mosquitoes are down, you know, you, that's fine. But at least do yourself a favor and give yourself a, a tick check uh, at the end of a day in the woods or if you're on a camping trip, uh, do it while you're camping. Because Lyme disease is serious. Uh, uh, I unfortunately know a few folks that, have, that are suffering greatly from the effects of Lyme disease. So remember that. Enjoy the outdoors. But things like mosquitoes and chiggers and uh, ticks, they can be more than an annoyance. In some cases they can carry disease and they can really affect your life. So keep an eye on that stuff and enjoy the outdoors. I'd like to thank you folks for watching my videos. I certainly appreciate it. And remember to shoot straight on the range and in life. Thanks.